Hey guys, it's Rio. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. For today's video, we are going to be doing a run through of my planner bundle that I have on Teachers Pay Teachers. So I have a couple of covers here. So if you want to do a homeschool binder or a homeschool planner, you have that option. And these are specific to the 2022-2023 school year. It also has a This Planner Belongs To page. And I have a tab that says The Plan. So let's go get into the... Yeah, the meat and potatoes of it. Here is a year to glance that I have from August all the way till July. I also have a couple of different styles of planners. So this is a week at a glance at a couple different variety variations. That's the word. And then I have a weekly one and a daily one. And I try to incorporate as many types of planner styles that I could think of. So that way it could cater to everyone's preferences. Next we have the homeschool breakdown. It has a slot for time and activity in case you just want to blanket slate the whole flow of your day. We also have a more in-depth version just in case you need to have a list of everything that you're going to need for that day. Here is the lesson plan tab. So first we have um, a few variations of where to have all of your resources or at least what you need for that topic, theme, or unit study all in the same place. I tried to do a few different variations just so everyone's needs can be met. We also have a literature-based planner sheet in case you're more of going through a literature curriculum. We also have a breakdown and I try to do quarterly breakdowns. There's a couple variations of that. Semester breakdowns, yearly breakdowns, and a monthly breakdown. And I think I try to incorporate a couple different versions of it just so it can be more inclusive to anyone's preferences. And then we have the morning basket or morning time. And this will have the components, three more in-depth um, sections, and then extra activities that you have. You also have a memory work sheet, and this can be used for any kind of memory work you have your kids um, doing at the time. I also have a couple of tea time planners. I have one for in case you're not really sure if it's something that you want to do on a regular basis. And then I have one with more slots in case you want to do it more often. That way you don't have to keep going through paper. This is the curriculum section. I have a unit study planner and I have it down, break, broken down through weeks all the way from August to July. And then I have a separate sheet that's completely blank. So that way, as whatever, how long you want your unit studies to be, um, that will work for you. I also have the unit study breakdown for monthly, if that's something you like better, and a unit study brainstorm. So this one has a few sections of like books or workbooks, printables, stuff that you would like, like need, some supplies needed, some craft ideas, and some extra activity ideas. This is just so you can see how your unit study or theme is coming along. I also have vocabulary, spelling section, a field trip or outdoor ideas, and then what we wish to learn or accomplish this unit. 
With the pack, you also get a shopping list, and I have a couple of pages with normal subjects that usually is pretty conclusive all, all over all around and then one that's completely blank in case you want to add like bible or language or anything like that into your studies i also have a an electives page and it has pe art music technology foreign language and stem and then i have one that's blank just in case you have other things that i didn't think of Next will be goals and highlights. I have it down, broken down in the same sections of quarterly, semester, um, monthly, and yearly. I also added a family goal section, which would be good, and a couple of highlight sections. And then I have the goals for the year, and that's just a long list of um, accomplishments and stuff that you want to get done. Resources is the next section. We have a website page, and that will just have the username, the password, and the source, and then an applications page, um, just so you can have all that information at the same place. And then I have co-op information. This kind of just has um, general information of like who, what's the name, the meeting place, um, subjects and stuff like that and then I have the resource lab log not lab and then I put down game originally and then I put a blank one just in case if you want to do like science resources or manipulatives stuff like that that way you have a uh, accountability for all of your things because you get a lot of them during homeschool so next is field trip and this one's just like an ideas page kind of like a a field trip dump idea dump and then this one is more like things that you have planned throughout the year on a monthly layout. I also have an in-depth field trip information page. And this one will have more things like date that you're going, location, hours, price, subjects covered, or what we wish to learn. to do, to, Something to do and something to bring. And I thought this would be very helpful on specific um, field trips and then I have a field trip log and I thought this would be cool to have just all of the field trips all the places that you visited all in one spot so I have a record keeping next and this one is a student information sheet it does have some um, things that like medical condition current uh, medication allergies um, these are kind of stuff that you would already know, but in case you share the responsibilities of homeschooling with someone else or a co-op, this, this way everyone knows things that they need to know about your kid, just so nothing really happens, just to be on the safe side. Then I have an attendance log, and this one is broken down through the months of August all the way to July, in case you're year-round. Next I have the start of your interview, and this one's basically just to put all of the information down in one spot. This will be big goals, small goals, the current curriculum that you're using, and then you talk with your kid on what they would like to learn this year. It's basically the same thing with the mid-year interview, just to make sure that you have an updated list of everything that they want to learn. And then the end of year evaluation will be what are your major accomplishments, what needs improvement, how did you like the curriculum that you have, and then the most enjoyed and least enjoyed of the school year. And that's something that you're going to be talking to with your kid. For funsies, I put in a homeschool report card and a homeschool progress report. Next will be logs. So we have reading logs in two different sizes of charts. Also a library book tracker, which will have title, um, issue date, and if it was returned. Read alouds, I have those in two sizes as well, and that will just have the title and the author. So if you're doing community service, I have several service or volunteer hour trackers, and I think this is very helpful just for accountability's sake.
All right, and then I have the extracurricular activities um, sign up and sheet. And this is just so you have accountability of everything that you guys are in. Some lists that I um, are the next section. So I have a ProCon list, a to-do list in a couple sizes, as well as a to-buy list. Next are some extra things that I wanted to add on to the bundle. We have a meal plan planner sheet here. I also have a grocery list with some normal um, sections and then a blank one. Here's a weekly reflection page. And this just has like things I'm grateful for, things that made me happy, things I have learned this week, habits I maintain, new habits to build, habits that were difficult to maintain, new things to try, goals I achieved this week, and goals for next week. And then I have a self-love board, which is really, really important, especially if you're feeling down on yourself. These have a couple of sections to fill out as well. It also has some affirmations here and then a spot for affirmations for you to add on your own. And then I have a vision board with things to fill out here. I also have a vision board that is completely blank so you can fill in your own sections that are more personalized to you. I also have a notes page some stationery. I thought these would be fun because they match the whole set. I also have a brain dump for kids, homework, and me. Must, should, could, would like to. A blank one. I also have graph paper and dotted paper as well. And then I have tabs for each one of my dividers. And then I also have a page of extra tabs in case you wanted to make dividers or sections of your own. I have a couple extra dividers here for work samples, state standards, homeschooling requirements, and a blank one. I also have a My First Day of just to do first day pictures, as well as a last day of um, for pictures as well. And this one will also have like their favorite subject on it, which I thought would be a nice addition. So you can, can see how their favorite subjects, if they change or stay the same throughout the years. But yeah, that is everything. That is the entire bundle. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit me down below, hit the bell down below. That's the thing. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.